Hi guys, how are you? This is Lois. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're safe and well wherever you are. Today I'm quite excited because I am bringing you a guest, okay? You know, as a newcomer to Canada, you've heard that you need to pay taxes, okay? And we are in the tax season, so I want us to address uh, tax filing in this country as a newcomer. And why I want to do this is, uh, you know, the process of filing taxes can be quite overwhelming and confusing. Uh, so I want to make sure that you know your obligations. And to do that, I brought to you a tax professional because I'm not an oil all. So I brought you a professional here who is going to walk us through the basics of paying taxes. So I want to introduce uh, Madame, tell us your name. Ah, thank you guys and thank you for having me, Lois. Okay. Uh, my name is Felistoski TV. I immigrated to Canada in 2009. I came for school and I stayed because I liked it so much. Um, I started my tax filing business uh, a few years ago just because being in the country for a long time and having gone to school uh, for this, I have a little bit of experience. And my focus is to walk new immigrants through the processes Lois mentioned because it can be a little bit overwhelming. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Felicitas. We are ready and I know my viewers are ready to learn. So guys, before we proceed, have you subscribed? If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, like and share this video. And uh, yeah, so I also want to let you know that... The information here is for your educational purposes only. This is not to be taken as legal advice or professional advice. If you need uh, especially tax professional advice, I'm going to be sharing Felista's information at the description part of this video. I'll give you uh, all her details and how you can contact her. Okay, so Felista, tell us tax season, which is a tax season here in Canada? We are actually in the tax tax season okay tax season the typical tax season it starts in february when you start getting uh t4s from your employer and mm -hmm. it runs all the way until april 30th when is the tax filing deadline mm -hmm. but that's not to say that you can't file taxes any other time of the year okay so if you're uh, you, you haven't filed or you if you have say you forgot to file one of the years you can also always file for taxes anytime oh okay yeah. uh so with tax filing is it a provincial or a federal obligation it is both a provincial or territorial if you live in the territories and a federal uh, obligation but that's not to say that you need to separate, you need to have two uh, filings mm -hmm. it's only one tax filing okay. and that takes care of the federal component and the taxes uh, related to that mm -hmm. and the provincial or territory component okay okay i know people are wondering so who should file taxes is anybody who is in canada obligated to pay taxes or and file taxes for that matter there are many uh, criteria to consider when you want to answer who should file for taxes but yeah in basic terms mm -hmm. if you live in canada and you're a resident of canada you are mandated to file taxes and that's not to say a resident in terms of permanent residency mm -hmm. or citizenship mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with tax filing oh, okay. uh, being a resident of canada in terms of tax residency means that you live in canada uh, you can be a student, mm -hmm. you can be a newcomer, okay. but as long as you live in Canada uh, and it could be for like a better part of the year, there's a little bit more detail to go into that, but you should file for your taxes. Okay. Also, if you have earned income in Canada, you should file for taxes. Oh, okay. So say you live in Kenya because you're from Kenya mm -hmm. and you've earned uh, income in Canada, mm -hmm. you do need to declare that income and file mm -hmm. for your taxes. Okay. Also, if you earned investment income from Canada, you do need to file for taxes too. Oh, great. Wow. So, if someone is here in this country and maybe they are married, uh, should they file taxes as single or married? If you are married, you can do a, sing a single or a separate return. Mm -hmm. But that's not the issue. The mm -hmm. issue is when you file for your taxes, mm -hmm. you do need to declare your status. Okay. And under tax regulations, there are six uh, status that you can fall into. So mm -hmm. you're either married, mm -hmm. uh, 
live in common law, mm -hmm. are you separated, mm -hmm. divorced, mm -hmm. widowed, mm -hmm. or single? Oh. So when you do file for your taxes, you do need to declare that. Oh. But even when you're married and say you file together, it doesn't mean that it's one return. It's still going to generate two different tax returns because personal tax filing, as the name suggests, it's personal. So okay. everybody will get their own return. Okay. So tell us, I know uh, there's lots of benefits to filing taxes and especially for CRA because they're going to get more money. Yeah. Uh, but is there any benefit to me as a, a, um, as an individual? Yes. Do I have any benefits of filing taxes? Yes. So uh, the benefits of filing taxes, um, in addition to a possible tax refund, uh, as a person, you also, when you file for your taxes, you are eligible to receive other added benefits okay. and just to name a few uh, some of them are the Canada Child Benefit mm -hmm. um, the, there's a disability credit that can be assessed if you have uh, someone who is a special needs a dependent of special needs mm -hmm. also when you file for taxes you get to know your RSV contribution limit okay uh, other benefits are you can when you file for taxes, you can use your uh, if you're a first time home buyer, mm -hmm. you can use you can you, there are credits that go towards that too. Oh, okay. yeah, you can claim some amount. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, you got me excited there with refunds. Do you want to tell us uh, is everybody entitled to a refund when you file taxes? Everybody is not entitled to a refund. Um, and you filing for taxes does not guarantee a refund. Okay. A refund only arises if you've paid more taxes than you should have mm -hmm. or if you are eligible for some uh, tax deduct deductible expenses or credits. Okay. I know, uh, especially newcomers, they also get rumors here and there that, you know, at the end of the year, you could be paying back the government. As you say, you may get a refund, but you may also be paying back to the government. In what situation would you be paying back the government? Exactly. So, yeah, you can also uh, be in an own position. Mm -hmm. And in simple terms, that means you are not deducted enough taxes say if you're an employee okay uh, so you do need to pay for taxes mm -hmm. and also say if you're self-employed because you don't pay taxes on a regular basis mm -hmm. and that's your only source of income so you do need to remit your taxes at the end of the year oh yeah. all right so tell new immigrants today here uh, what can they claim uh, when they are filing uh, their taxes you can claim a few things and again uh it's not universal every case is uh, specific Absolutely. Uh, some of the things that you can claim are childcare expenses so mm -hmm. this could be daycare day home expenses and after school programs yeah you can also claim uh, tuition uh, credit so okay. if you're going to school uh you can claim uh, some of the tuition back if you've gone to school and you finished school but you had taken out student loans mm -hmm. and you're paying them back, yeah. you can claim some of the interest that are related to you paying your student loans. Okay. Wow. Um, so, when now it's the time to do your taxes, are there some documents that you need for you to yes. file your taxes? Yes. Uh, so, to start uh, for employment income, of course, you need all your employment slips, uh, that's T4s. And that's issued by your employer. So mm -hmm. if you haven't received one already by now, which is March the 6th, you yeah. should have received one. So go to your employer and ask, ask for that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are claiming tuition, you do need, uh, it's called Form T2202, and that's issued by your education institution. Okay. Um, other things are your RSP contribution receipts, among others. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And... Um, Someone mentioned, you know, we come from this community uh, that goes to church. Somebody mentioned that if you make uh, small donations here and there, if you pay tithe, yeah. are you able to claim something like that? Uh, tithe is different. Mm -hmm. and tithe, I guess, when you go to church could be something different. But mm -hmm. in terms of tax, if you're doing charitable donations and mm -hmm. you do have a donation receipt, mm -hmm. yes, you can claim that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, do you want to just walk us through the types of incomes that someone needs to... To, to claim apart from just employment yeah so some of the uh, in incomes that you need to declare uh, in addition to employment income is say you have a rental house as many immigrants do you do need to declare your rental income mm -hmm. but don't be afraid because that also is offset by 
some of the expenses that are incurred when you're running your rental property. Okay. Uh, when you're self-employed, as many many again immigrants are, yeah, you <laughs> you need to declare that income, and mm -hmm. again that's offset by the expenses that are, that are related to you running your business. Mm -hmm. uh, and this year, with a lot of people uh, working from home, you can claim um, home office expenses. Oh. Hmm. And it's not all expensive that you can claim, so there's a little bit more detail to that. And also, you other incomes. It's say you've been invested in in a company and you pay dividends. Mm -hmm. You do need to clear that to declare that income. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Wow, that's a lot of information. I hope you guys are taking notes. Uh, so Felicitas is just going to let us know, how do we file taxes? Do we file them? Do we post them? Do we file online? How do people file taxes? So to filing taxes, and especially for newcomers to Canada, I would advise uh, that you go to a tax professional like me to file your taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a little bit more savvy with how the tax system works you can do it yourself online through okay. a tax software okay. uh, you can also do a mail file in so that means you get um, a little package you mm -hmm. fill in all your information which is very tedious and manual okay. and then you mail the application the, the a package to CRA for them to process okay okay so now we've either we've gone either to Felistas she's helped us or we've used some software what happens after we file taxes uh so yeah after you file for taxes you will cra will get your file and they will process it mm -hmm. and then you will also get a not notification for a notice of assessment and mm -hmm. this is either delivered in in the mail mm -hmm. or online if you have a cra account and we can talk a little bit more about that later okay and with the notice of assessment you will also get, if you are entitled to a refund, you will mm -hmm. get a refund. Yeah. So how do we get the refund? It's okay. either deposited into your bank account, mm -hmm. you provided that information to CRA, yeah. or it's mailed to you and you get a check in the mail. Oh. Also, if you owe money to the CRA, again, a payment is required, so you have to arrange to make that payment to the CRA. Wow, wow. I hope you guys don't have to pay back <laughs> CRA. Nobody wants to pay back. Uh, so tell us, when is the deadline to file taxes? The deadline to file for taxes is April 30th. Uh, but also that means if you owe the CRA, the deadline to pay mm -hmm. your owing amount is April 30th. Mm -hmm. So I always advise my clients to file way before April 30th. Absolutely. In fact, for those that have all their um, documentation, we're already uh, finishing up filing. Mm -hmm. So that if you are owing, you have enough time to, pre to prepare in order to pay by the deadline. Okay, okay. I hope you guys are not caught up by the deadline. Make sure that you're filing your taxes in good time. Um, if someone doesn't pay taxes, as in you don't file taxes, uh, are there any penalties? Of course. Uh, in addition to be not compliant with your regulations, mm -hmm. if you don't file for your taxes and say you owe money, uh, interest will start accumulating on that uh, owing amount and mm -hmm. you will be mandated to pay more and who wants to pay more money from yeah. their pockets right yeah. yeah also we talked about all the benefits that you gain you may gain from filing taxes so again you won't be uh, eligible to receive mm -hmm. those benefits okay wow 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 anyway we are not here to scare you we just want to make sure that you have all the information that you need that you're well informed just so that you don't make the same same mistake some of us made when we came here when we didn't know where to when to file where to file and what to do so i will sure be giving you uh details of uh felista's uh company uh felista's you say that you run a blog that is money manners yeah so i run the name of the blog site and, and my company is the name it's moneymanners.ca um, and on the blog, I'll talk about different issues and it's not just tax related, it's tax, it's personal finance, it's anything that can make us better um, financially independent people. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say that I am myself, I'm still learning and I'm sharing because when we know more, we get yeah. more. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. And you can definitely help people file taxes so people can reach out to you. Yeah, for sure. I am, it would be my pleasure to help and especially newcomers just to walk through the same, to walk through, walk them through the process. Okay. And just to, to make sure that we have everything needed so that they can get 
uh, either a refund or mm -hmm. get access to all the benefits that come with. Thank you, thank that. you, thank you so much, Felistas, for joining me today and educating my viewers. So, guys, have you subscribed again? If you like this video, please share it, and I will be giving you more information about how to reach Felistas if you're here and you need more education, not just in matter status but also in uh, financial management because we all need to know how to manage our finances especially when we come to this country because everything is all new exactly. okay so thank you so much uh take care and i will see you next day felistas do you want to tell people oh thank you and it was such a pleasure talking to you guys today i hope you stay safe thank you bye bye guys